All right, welcome to day one. We're so excited to get to work. Here's today's workout. Today we're doing something called Tabatas. It's one of my favorite timing. It's very intense work for 20 seconds followed by immediate rest for 10 seconds. We just do some exercises back to back. At the end of each round, we will rest for one minute, repeated five times. So we have five rounds, but it's gonna go really, really fast just because this timing is so quick. Um, this is gonna be a really, really sweaty workout. So have a towel nearby, water also ready for those breaks in between. So when you're ready, let's get to it. We're gonna start with speed skaters at the bell. Nice. So we are gonna go, and I want nice big movements, bigger movements, like you mean it. There we go. So huge movements, and I want intensity and power throughout the movement, okay? You can give me like a superhero face. You never know if you want, or if you're gonna have like Instagram watching time, okay? So we have the, the faces down, we have the workout down. The next move, we are doing a lunge, so you're gonna pick one side. We're gonna go down slow, up quick. Down slow, up quick. The weight is in that front heel, and if you're having a hard time with balance or anything, make sure you just stick to the one lunge, okay? You can stay here the entire time. Down, up quick, down. Nice. Other side. How do you know if your lunge is wide enough, if it's hurting anywhere? Here's how you check. Follow Marissa or watch me for the form. You wanna make sure that both knees are at 90 when you're starting and you're gonna stand straight up. Not like that. Really just stand straight up without falling. <laughs> so you're gonna go down, up quick, down. Core is tight, chest is raised. Again, ready for any pictures because people take pictures when you work out. Next, we are doing power jacks. Hands right here, up into a jack. Ready, nice. So, breathing. I'm gonna get in sync with you. Don't wanna throw them off. <laughs> Super light feet, keep your core braced so hard so you don't feel or hear your feet hitting the floor. Okay, nice and soft. So excited, two and one, very nice. Coming down to the floor for a glute, glute bridge. So you're setting it up with your feet hip distance apart and you're just gonna raise up and hold. Hands are down to your sides, bringing your chin to your chest. Any chin, it can be your third chin. I usually pick my second or third chin, whichever one touches the chest first. <laughs> a few more seconds here. Very nice. Now we have mountain climbers, so roll it over. We're gonna be on the floor for the rest of this round. So planting your hands nice and wide. Elbows are soft. Oh yeah. <laughs> Elbows are soft. So bringing those feet in, kind of like you're pedaling a bike, okay? It's not a giant movement, just really small. And I want you to make sure that your gaze is looking straight down at the floor and your core is tight, okay? Don't drop your head, don't look up too high. And time. Nice, push-ups. You can take your hands nice and wide, as you'll see Marissa doing here. Hands nice and wide, fingers extended, gripping the whole floor with those hands. Down and up. If you need a modification, just drop down to those knees, keeping your toes on the floor, okay? You've seen people with to toes up. It just doesn't engage the abs when we raise our toes. So keep your toes flat on the floor, and then when you're ready, all you need to do is straighten those legs. Time. Nice, we have one more movement for this round. Calling it a cocoa after my two-year-old. Your bum is gonna come up and shoot back down. Let's see it. Very nice. And then I want you to exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Get that bum up as high as you can. You can see how unflexible I am. <laughs> you're welcome. Couple more seconds, and time. Nice. Rest for one minute, and then we're gonna come right back and do that all over again.
Now we're back, so let's get back to it at the bell. Speed skaters. Nice, big, intense movements. Nice. You could set up a fan <laughs> again if your hair is down. Just make those like luscious shots. Am I the only one that takes pictures when I work out? <laughs> nice. I'm the only one in <laughs> time. Lunge, pick a leg. Just remember which leg you start with so you don't only do the same leg every single round. I've done it, you'll notice. Up, down. Hands are gonna be up to your sides or on your hips. You just don't want your hands on your body. What that does is it throws off your whole form. It looks weird and you're cheating. Don't cheat. We came here to work. <laughs> nice. Other side. Dun, dun, dun. So excited. Three seconds. Core is tight. Awkward bum. Down. Up, down. Whoa. <laughs> Cut down, making sure your whole foot is spread so you don't fall over like I did twice now. <laughs> nice. Power jacks. Hands come right here. You could always just do a lower body jack or a full jack, but these just feel cooler. <laughs> We're about the coolness. Again, super light feet. I don't want to hear your feet slamming at all, okay? I hear them. I can hear them. That's better, okay? Light feet, light feet. And one. Nice, come down for a glute bridge. So again, feet are hip distance apart. I want you to kind of tilt your hips so you can feel your whole back on the floor and then raise up. Can you raise your hips just a little higher? Higher towards the ceiling. And the goal is to be able to get a nice straight line from your shoulder. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> shoulders <laughs> down to your knees. <laughs> Mountain climbers, roll it over. <laughs> nice sweaty area. <laughs> Don't slip and die on these mountain climbers. Keeping everything nice and straight. If you need a modification, if this is too much on your shoulders or your hands, you can always take it up to a couch and you can always slow down the pace, just right here. Okay, but the goal is again, to keep those hands nice and wide, gripping the whole mat, keeping those shoulders in line with the wrists. Nice. Push-ups, take it out a little wider. And this is something else I want you to check before we start. A lot of us do push-ups here. Make sure you bring your whole body forward Again, keeping a nice straight line. So you feel it in the chest, and you don't really feel it in the shoulders, okay? If you're feeling your push-ups in your shoulders, again, bring your body up over those hands. And exhale up, exhale, exhale. Very nice. Harpy or the Coco. <laughs> I need to tell them the story, so you just do it. I was showing these moves to Marissa, my two-year-old decided to try them. So as he went up, his head went down into the floor. So please be careful. <laughs> be careful of all bystanding, watching children. Teach them not to slap their heads. It's okay, he lives, he laughed, and he did it again. Nice. Time. We have one minute, grab a drink, and then we're gonna come right back. Three more rounds.
We have three more rounds. We're so excited. So, at the bell, the speed skaters. So I want you to stay knees nice and bent. And again, bringing power, okay? It feels kind of crazy, but I want you to visualize yourself in the Olympics, okay? We've all seen the Olympics, hopefully. If you haven't, you have work to do. But speed skaters are low, intense, and I want you to put yourself in their skates, but not anymore. <laughs> lunge, going up next time. <laughs> you know, lunge, set it up, awkward bum. Core is tight, lunge up and down. Nice, up quick, down. So the reason we're going so slow on the descent because that's where we build the muscle, is on the down. It doesn't feel super hard. Yeah, it does. It feels super easy. It doesn't feel <laughs> super easy, but it is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice, other side. We got an extra couple seconds there. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> down, up, down. Yeah, and I love to play with timing because timing brings those results. It really freaks your body out, okay? Which increases fat burn and tones up those muscles real nice. And it makes it fun, right? Very nice. Power jacks, hands up here. Core is tight, feet are light. That rhymed. You're welcome. Up and up. Very nice. Keep it going. Light, light feet. Abs are tight, couple more seconds. Nice, glute bridges, drop it down. Feet are right next to those buns. Hands are to the sides, raise up. Nice, I want you to really focus on squeezing the bum all the way up and almost like you're flexing it, just keep it super tight. And the second you feel like it's like easy, push higher to the ceiling. It just might mean you're drooping a little bit. So push up to the ceiling. Nice. Roll it over mountain climbers. Again, making sure your body is up over those hands, shoulders in line with the wrists, and we climb. I've never been to Everest. I'm pretty sure this is how I would climb it. <laughs> For effective results. <laughs> if you want a six pack by the time you get up there, climb it like this. <laughs> Time. Push ups. <laughs> nice. Nice and wide. Nice. Again, if you need to drop down to those knees, or again, if it's just too much on your shoulders or hands, Try it up on a chair or up on a couch, just a higher, or you can even go against the wall. Same movement, it's just a little less pressure on those joints. So please pick your level, Harpy, or the Coco. Now you know the story. Keep your head safe. Raise up, raise up. And the goal is to try and keep your legs as Tight and not locked out, but just as straight as you can. So you don't have to go very high. This is working those low, low abs. And time. We have two more rounds. Grab a drink and come right back.
Round four, we only have two more rounds. So, step into those Olympic skates. And let's go. Nice. Whatever tickles your fancy. I mean, if you're a Broadway guy in this, if that tickles you in, I don't know, <laughs> how do you say that? <laughs> Next one. <laughs> you know, back home. <laughs> Sorry, slow. <laughs> that, no, no, no. It looked like the Broadway guys, you know? <laughs> In my head. You just swap out the skates for top shoes. <laughs> I don't know. So watch Marissa. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Got the giggles. Never leaves, <laughs> but we're back. <laughs> and down, up quick, down, up quick, down, up quick, down, nice. Movements like this, if you're into track or if you're into like anything that makes you jump up, practice these movements, okay? Strengthening that leg again on that negative, jump higher, run faster, power jacks. <laughs> Ready, Marissa? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Very nice. Keep everything super still. Okay, you wanna try and keep your head as, from as little bouncing, there we go. Really engaging those legs, bending the knees, keeping everything just tight. Time, glute bridge, drop it down. Hands out to your sides. Heels by your bum, feet hip distance apart and raise up. Nice. Again, kind of take a peek down, making sure that your knees are in line with your hips. They're not out too far, they're not touching. Just in line with the hips. Core is tight. Very nice. Mountain climbers, roll it over. Take the wall, take the couch. I take your mat. Let's go. Keeping your bum low and your head again, looking straight down between your hands. Don't drop it, don't look it up. You know, <laughs> words. <laughs> Time. Nice. We have one more, two more push ups, and then the cocoa. So I'm gonna show you the option on your knees, okay? Remember, you just kinda come into that full push-up and you just drop those knees down, keeping your feet hip distance apart. We do that for better abs, for core engagement, okay? Because you really wanna make sure that core is tight so you get to work in the right muscles. Very nice. The Coco. <laughs> and I'll show you an option for the Coco. If this is, again, just way too much. If you needed to, you could always come up to the wall and just bring one foot in and one foot back. And same with right here. You could always come down to a plank, bring one foot in, just like a mountain climber. But if that pike is okay, just bring one foot in and one foot down. Or pike up, come down. Nice. We have one more round. So grab a drink, come right back to work.
We have one more round at the bell. Let's get to it. Broadway things, speed skaters. Broadway speed skaters. <laughs> no? Aladdin? No, it's Aladdin. That's where it is. <laughs> or speed skaters, the Olympics, because we're serious. We only do serious work. <laughs> Two and one. Nice. It did not look very serious that last round. Curls were bouncing, Aladdin was in my head. It's fine. Hips come in, abs are tight. Coming down slow. Pups. And if your leg is moving fast enough, you can totally feel your whole body almost like it wants to jump up, right? Do you feel that? So if you wanted to, you could try it. Ah, I almost tried it. I got too scared. But you'll see anytime you're doing any sports, if you jump, try it, okay? Warm up like that, and then your body will just be ready to propel up. Super awesome. Down, up, down, up, down. Exhale. Very nice. Power jacks. Hands come together. Heart guard. Hey yo. Now remember, body stays super still. You immediately saw Marissa kind of come down into her legs, right? So focus on that. Try not to bounce a ton. You don't want your head moving a lot. It's all in the legs and the arms. Very nice. Two, two, and one. Glute bridge, bring it down. <laughs> Last round, so make sure that you're getting up, getting those hips up higher than you have before. Really squeeze the glutes and raise the hips towards the ceiling. Raise them up just an inch higher. One more raise. In time, mountain climbers. Da na 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 da na. Me and then. Nice. Can you move your feet just an in, a little bit faster? Can you keep your back a little straighter and your core a little tighter? Nice. <laughs> we have push-ups. So just like in the push-ups, make sure you're keeping your head in a nice straight line. Gaze is right between those hands. Down and up. Oops, there we go. Exhale up, come down, exhale up. Nice, harpies. So again, I'm gonna show you that modification just in case, but follow Marissa for the full movement. So let's stick to that pike plank modification. You're starting high plank, raising the bum up and down. Okay, again, we're feeling this in those low, low abs. So tomorrow, when you're like weirdly sore, right above your hips, that's from this. <laughs> down and up. In time. We did it. We survived day one. Hopefully you got a little sweaty. Make sure you take your measurements, eat all the food, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>